yes, yes. 5.4 gigahertz. I9. 8900K. 5.4, baby. So you want to upgrade that Windows Home to Windows Pro or just get killer prices on Windows Office 2016 and cheap gaming keys, head on down to 09. Make sure you copy and paste my code from the description to get a price that's going to make you go woo! We're going to get a 9900K. We're PLE. PLE. Yeah, it's like a Pro. What are you buying today? I'm buying corn. Oh, dodgy. Number one. They come PLE, number one now. Number one, they come through. Why? Yes. What, what, what have we they... got in here? We'll have a look. Ooh. Look at this little Ooh. sexy bag. Look. Oh, what is it? What is it? I'm getting my SSD, Ooh. my floppy. It's just turned oh, to SSD. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't Ever, that sexy? Look at that. We oh, don't want yeah. to drop it. That's nice. Ooh. So you should, for the price, we should get something nice. That's nice. All right, let's, let's go. All right, we've got a special unboxing. What do we got? Gone. Yes, yes, core cool. I nine, baby. <gasps> what is that? I nine. I nine. Let's have a look. I just it comes in this actual felt here. That actually comes with it, and there it is. There. What in else is in there? Well, we'll find out when we open it. That's what it looks like. Oh yes, eight cores, hyper thread, five gigahertz. Yeah. There you go. Mm, I found it. Yep. Oh, so yes. once it's opened, it's opened. It has a seal on it. So once you open it, you know it's been opened. No trickery going on here. Hang on, Spencer. Hey. Go, Spencer. Go. Yeah. So that comes off. It's a piece of cardboard there. And there's the cube itself. And there's another one. Another, another sticker. One. It. it looks like you need a degree up, to mate. open this. Oh, there it is. <gasps> yes. What is it? Show me. Core i9. No Intel confidential there. It is. Oh, there it is. It comes out of the packet. Nice and easy. No more seals. And that's it. And he's, my son's like, what the hell is this thing? Don't open that bit. Don't Spence. open that bit. That's all right. There you go. Did you like that? Is that a cool box? Do you like the box? Do you want to keep the cube? Want to put your transformers in there? That could be one of the houses for your transformer. Look, put your transformer in there. Okay, that could be his house, his new house. He's got a glass house. Is that cool? <laughs> Is that cool? That's rubbish. You know that's rubbish. Rubbish! <laughs> I'm the rubbish oh, man. Dodgy. Do you know what I am? I am a rubbish man! Fan, what do we got here? We five, have five, I9! I9, 5 gigahertz, straight out of the box, alright? Straight out of the box, I just used the... Retail uh, box! Retail, this is a retail CPU, so I'll check the step in later. But anyway, 5 gigahertz here. Um, no problem, it's been going nearly 10 minutes because I pretty much put this benchmark on. This is Prime 95 26.6 non-AVX because I don't test with AVX. Um, probably 300 megahertz less if you want to do AVX. And the hottest core we got is 83 degrees, I can see there, 83 degrees. Okay, what's it saying? It's saying I'm using 169 watts. That's what it's telling me. Um, 95 TP, so this is all cores. Just the overclock straight out of the box, as I said, from the, um, from the BIOS. Uh, I didn't even enter any uh, details, just the overclock profile, simple with a Zeus, really simple. And you can see here I do have a Corsair H150. Um, is that what it's called? H150i? Oh, it's yeah. And it's a 360 radiator. 360 radiator. And the thing is, it's not even running flat stick, is it? No. Like, listen. Like, so if I crank that up, I reckon I could get those temperatures under 80. And it's only a couple of cores that are going over 80. And that's their max. But if you look at their current temperature, they're only like 60 something. What? Is that for real? That was the maximum temperatures, 81, 83. So if you look at their actual current temperatures, it's under 70 degrees at 5 gigahertz. So I think this 
It's got a bit more in it. I think we'll be able to get the 5.1. And this is actually the cheapest motherboard you can get. This is the, um, what is it, Strix? Azus Strix? Yes. Um, H. H. It's the cheapest Strix you can Z get. Z390H. H, yeah. So it's the cheapest one you can get. It's been going 13 minutes now, um, this test, and still we're in the... Um, not even really over 70 degrees and the fan's not going that fast i would estimate it's about 60 percent that fan not even so i can't even hear it that much anyway um yeah just getting into the 70s barely you know whatever max temperature was 83 still and it's still going 100 percent at 5 gigahertz all cores of course and as we can see here the stepping is c so this is the same as the actual ones being seated to the reviewers so that's one thing to know there. The retail is exactly the same as what the reviewers were getting. So obviously this chip can reach five gigahertz without breaking a sweat. And with those temperatures, I would say there's more to be gained. I think I can go to 5.1 maybe, we'll see. 0.3 apparently, that's what it says, 5.3, whatever. 5.2, 887, yep, 5.3 gigahertz. <laughs> Is this joke? 1.687 volts, we'll see. Let's run Prime, see if it stays up. Oh, 5.3 is <laughs> coming, 5.3. Oh, it just throttled, did it? Did it? I think it just throttled there, no? Yeah, it did. It did. Starting to throttle there. I don't, that's not temperature throttle. That probably is VRM. Because uh, temperature's not... No, we'll run that 5.3. 5.3 gigahertz. Come on! Yes! 5.3. 5.3. Temperatures. Still under 80. This friggin' Corsair thing is friggin' insane. Cooler. Isn't it? 5.3, there you go, 5.3, 100% load, 5.3, 8 cores, not AVX of course, remember 1.572 volts there, and we are indeed 5.3 gigahertz, and temperatures are not even 80 degrees, so wow, 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 and the thing about this is it won't be AVX stable at 5.3, but you'll be able to game at 5.3, we were able to gain with the other one, the um, 8700K at 5.4. It wasn't stable at 5.4, but it was definitely gaming stable at 5.4. And I would say this will be stable at 5.3. With those temperatures there, um, there's more to go. There's more to go, I think. 5.4, we have at least booted into 5.4. So 5.385. Uh, how many volts? <laughs> 1.69 volts. Okay, let's see if it's non AVX stable at 5.4. Let's go, baby! Alright, come on, where's the temperatures? Uh, and I want to see. Oh, no, there we go. 5.4 is a bridge too far, but this is like with the automatic. So 5.4, 5.3 was stable, non AVX. So I think we've reached the limit there. Might be able to get 5.4 if I start messing with it manually. But um, yeah, it's amazing. I couldn't believe that. That's pretty good. Okay, so this is the stable voltage I got it at. It was 1.45, I think it was. Why is it shooting over a bit? So it's 1.45. That's just shooting over a little bit there. And that's stable at five gigahertz and there's no throttle in. So if we just run Cinebench, you can see the temperatures just hit the 90s. Now this is with the uh, Corsair 150 H150i, I think it is. So I can't, I can go to 5.1, 5.2. I actually seen it stable at 5.3, but it will throttle because obviously it cannot maintain under 100 degrees at that point. It won't crash. Like 5.3 wouldn't crash. It would just thermal throttle. It would just hit the temperature. So I'm thinking I could easily get 5.3, maybe 5.4 if I maybe deleted it. Um, but this is certainly the temperature threshold here because, um, you know, once you get into the 90s, if you can't cool it down, we're getting up to 95 there as the maximum core temp. If you can't cool it down anymore, yeah, all right, you can put more voltage, you can increase the um, CPU speed, but 
it, it's got a throttle, it really doesn't matter, does it? So look at that score. That's, that's a nice cinnamon score there, isn't it? Wow. Um, so if I did put it at 5.1, it would just start throttling down because it will get hotter, of course. So, but I can game stably at 5.3. So we'll, we'll try it at a higher clock speed to game at. 